In this video, Dr. Pajapati is going to talk to us about chronic hand eczema that shares a common molecular signature regardless of the atopic dermatitis status. Greetings, this is Vim Prajapati, dermatologist from Calgary, Canada, reporting live from the 32nd EADB Congress in Berlin, Germany today. I focused on the late-breaking news session. In this report, I will discuss the presentation titled Chronic Hand Eczema Shares a Common Molecular Signature Regardless of Atopic Dermatitis Status. This was presented by Dr. Jonathan Barr from the ICANN School of Medicine at Mount Sinai in New York, USA. As you know, chronic hand eczema affects approximately 10% of the population, and it is the most common occupational skin disease. Chronic hand eczema has a multifactorial etiology and heterogeneous presentation with many clinical subtypes. Atopic dermatitis is the strongest risk factor for chronic hand eczema, with approximately one-third of chronic hand eczema patients having atopic dermatitis. The goal of the study being presented was to investigate the transcriptome of chronic hand eczema and compare the inflammatory and barrier-related characteristics across endotypes, particularly atopic dermatitis status, using the minimally invasive tape stripping approach. The results of the study showed that 1. Chronic hand eczema is characterized by activation of several immune pathways, not just Th2, but also Th1 and Th17, Th22. Number two, an overall similar transcriptomic signature is shared between chronic hand eczema patients, regardless of atopic dermatitis status. And three, there are some differences with respect to inflammatory and barrier-related biomarkers between chronic hand eczema patients with and without atopic dermatitis. As an example, more changes to CCL17, interleukin-4, and filaggrin in atopic dermatitis patients, while more changes to JAK1 and interferons in non-atopic dermatitis patients. This explains why not all chronic and eczema patients will respond to advanced systemic therapies that target the Th2 pathway and why the more broad immunomodulatory effects of topical and systemic JAK inhibitors, which can ameliorate Th1, Th2, and Th17, Th22 related inflammation may provide better results. Hope you enjoyed the conference. Well, those were very insightful videos. Uh, and reports, Dr. Prajapati. I really want to thank you for taking the time. The conference center is so big and it's very hard to get around to all of these different sessions, but I really appreciate the reports that you gave. So with that, I want to thank you for listening. It's Ron Vendor again. I also want to thank BMS and The Chronicle for making this possible. We'll speak to you tomorrow, day three, from the EADV in Berlin, 2023.